in this quickie with Exegius, we'll be unlocking the engineer Tiana Fortune, who is primarily responsible for scanners. You'll first need to have unlocked and ranked Haritani to grade 4 to discover her. Now, let's look at the most efficient way to unlock Tiana Fortune. As Tiana is responsible for grade 5 Olympic controllers and scanners, she's not as critical as many others. She does also offer grade 3 frameshift drive interdictors and surface scanners, so she is not without her usefulness. Once you've discovered her from Haritani, you'll need to be friendly with the Empire. This can be done most efficiently by collecting data using the Road to Riches and selling this at any Imperial controlled station. You'll need approximately 6 million in data, which can be gathered in about 45 minutes or so. Once you've reached Friendly and received her invitation, you'll need only provide 50 units of decoded emission data. While this can be obtained by a scanning combat ships, it is far more efficient to gather data at the Commander Jameson crash site, followed by a visit to a material trader. Once you've acquired the 50 decoded emission data, you'll need to obtain the Akinar permit. You'll need the Imperial rank of Squire to earn the permit, which is most efficiently done via data delivery missions. See my guide to gaining rank linked on screen now. Once obtained, head to Fortunes Lost in Akinar to donate the data and complete the unlock. As Tiana is a final stage engineer, there's no pressing reason to roll her to a higher rank. You can simply pin a blueprint for remote workshop or visit her later. For many, long range or fast scan kill warrant scanners will be the most popular or possibly one of the various Olympic controllers. While Tiana is a less than critical engineer, she does offer some very nice quality of life improvements. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you're working to unlock other engineers, check out my playlist covering them all and join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creators Roundtable each Friday and consider supporting my efforts via Patreon. Music